I'd like to welcome you to the Skunter Museum. This is curator Chris King. This beautiful sign was painted by a young sign painter in uh, Togo, West Africa. I don't remember the man's name. He had never seen a skunk. The skunk is not native to uh, West Africa, but he looked him up in a book and I think he did a great job. Kind of looks like a ferret, but it's a skunk. Um, skunk Museum comes from a form of music. The name comes from a form of music, skuntry. It's really kind of silly. But it was skunky country, if you will, and it was a country post-punk band, Enormous Richard, that we started out in. Enormous Richard, that we started out in, and uh, it was a band. And it became a kind of a concept of doing it yourself and being a little goofy about it as you went along. It's a... Uh, Enormous Richard in action. That's a Matt Fuller sketch at a barn in Pulteney, Vermont, where we made some music. And uh, Skunkry lives on today in an art organization called Poetry Scores, which sets poetry uh, to other media like music and visual art and cinema. But the Scunter Museum is kind of a museum of all the things I've loved and my friends have loved. This is a Boo Rays t-shirt made by Mark Stevens. We have an extensive costume collection at the Scunter. This is a Udi Harant t-shirt, a uh, very important record label. Traditional Crossroads, that's a Turkish record label. Uh, Poetry Scores has done a lot of work with in, in Turkey, of all places. Here's another Mark Stevens t-shirt, Boo Rays. So, uh, you know, we were a St. Louis rock band that became an international arts organization. And my little basement museum reflects all of that. This is all, we also are lovers of the St. Louis burlesque scene. This is uh, Dewey Desi Mall, one of our local burlesque stars and a librarian. We have a library here, yet another Mark Stevens. The Scripture Museum has an extensive archive of what we call zombie media. Some call it dead media, but it's not dead if it's still walking around. These are cassettes. We're listening to Miles Davis Sketches of Spain on cassette right now. This is a prop from the first Poetry Scores movie, Blind Cat Black, unreleased for complicated political reasons, but it's about a Turkish poem. And it's uh, somewhat well known in Turkey. Uh, in Istanbul, the people that started the uh, Taksim Revolution uh, that resulted in so much repression had been advocates of our uh, movie and uh, we're still friends with them as hard political times come to all of us here is the poetry scores library uh, i'm also something of a writer and these shelves here is sort of everything i've ever published that i had a hand in writing or editing and uh, oh speaking of zombie media it's enormous richard and affiliate uh bands on the cassette this is the inventory we do have products for sale although we tend not to sell things but give them away the poetry scores model is kind of no money in no money out no one gets paid but no one uh gets charged either eleanor roosevelt was a band somewhere equidistant between uh enormous richard and poetry scores eleanor roosevelt was the first version of our creative unit that consciously set other people's words to music which became a hallmark of uh poetry scores this is rick hawkins a very important person to us it was part of the earliest field recording trips that was who bella 2 which was uh after eleanor roosevelt and before poetry scores a little bit out of order i make funny paintings on records and uh that's one of them that lidge made a cd cover out of so this is the this country museum for you. We uh, great beer lovers here. This is my current beer. I'm drinking the Great Fantasyland Midwest Coast IPA by Urban Chestnut, which is a uh, great St. Louis brewery. Here's another one from the costume collection. It's a beautiful tattoo T-shirt. I love the tattoo arts. Here on the, uh, the kind of a workbench here. 
looks like an exit sign, but it's actually a work by David Jefferson, a very important early co-founder of Scuntry, David Jefferson of Chicago, Illinois. I'm a big fan and collector of uh, Bascom Lamar Lunsford, great barn of the Appalachian Mountains. And uh, let me move this t-shirt to shed some light on the matter. Here's some important people. Nima Kuma. Uh, early source for Lidge and Me, making uh, records uh, for Nima. Great uh, genius of Liberia, West Africa. Here's the Indian Mound in Cahokia. Sacred Country Space. Some of the music we've put to... Um, uh, some of the poetry we've put to music is from ancient Egypt. We release that on a record. It's only like a coterie release. Just friends and family have it. But a friend of ours went to Egypt and took a picture of our record, our coterie record, semi-unreleased record next to one of the Great Pyramids of Giza. How about that? And uh, so this is, uh, well, this is what this country museum is and what it isn't. We appreciate you stopping by. We have a baseball collection. I'm a baseball fan. I played uh, barehanded 1862 rules base, uh, uh, barehanded baseball in Central Park when I lived in New York. Oh, I'm sorry before I put you out the door. Here we have an interesting fluids collection. All these things have some fluid in them. There's zombie blood from our first movie. There's a can of water that Anheuser-Busch uh, gave away in the 1993 flood. Uh, there's honey from uh, Shakespeare's birthplace, Stratford on Avon. We have an action figure collection. This is the ephemera wing. Jesse Ventura, the governor. Edgar Allan Poe, Albert Einstein. It's not a museum without a Pez collection. Looks like Kermit. Looks like Animal. Looks like Daffy. See Daffy? There we go. We have people sign baseballs. Famous poets and friends of ours. People signing baseballs that are not baseball players. That's the kind of stuff you get. Oh, Pops Farrar. This fishing hat. That was Jay Farrar's father, one of my best friends. And uh, here's a, a pipe of yard mud that Pops made. Too dark to see that. Okay. Welcome and goodbye and farewell. It's going to museum. These are uh, Toy's lips from our first movie. Too dark for that, too.